Hello, brothers and sisters. I hope your, your Lent season has just been a powerful time so far of reflection, of some time apart to, to uh, be with the Lord, to hear from the Lord, and continue to examine yourselves and see where you continue to grow and need to continue to grow. Today, as we continue our lesson uh, in the book of Matthew, uh, we come to this place where Jesus does these three different miraculous events. He, he calms the storm uh, that with the disciples in the middle of the Sea of Galilee. He then heals the two demon-possessed men. And finally, uh, he comes back and uh, uh, heals the, the paralyzed man. And it's interesting to see uh, the different responses. The, the apostles uh, are fearing in the storm, and yet when they see Jesus uh, calm the waters, it says they have amazement. Uh, and I think that's what happens with us if we're connected with the Lord, if we're growing with the Lord, if we're, if we're communing with God, if we're reading the word, if we're spending time in prayer, that Jesus is growing in our hearts when we see Jesus work and he will work. We're just going to stand back in amazement and give praise to God. Uh, the, the, the two demon possessed men were, were ecstatic, but the townspeople came out and it says they were fearful. They told Jesus to please leave. Uh, and isn't that the thing that happens often when, when people that don't understand what's going on and they see something powerful, uh, their reaction is leave us. We don't, we, we're afraid of this. We don't want to deal with it. Uh, I think they also were struggling that, that their, uh, livestock had been run into the ocean and they had lost that. And so there was this fear that overtook them. And finally, uh, we see Jesus healing the paralyzed man. And, and we see the, well, the, the people have fear, but the, the religious leaders have anger. And, and that's what happens as well as God works in our community. So often, those of, of us that get caught up into the bureaucracy of religiosity, uh, we, we begin to lose connection uh, with the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and we don't want to see God manifest uh, because we want to, to see our own institutional uh, agendas laid out. And, and that happens all the time in the church. I take away from it personally that I need to be in the place of the apostle always. I need to be in that place of just walking with Jesus, listening to Jesus, being open to the voice of Jesus so that when I see Jesus work, when I, when I uh, see the miraculous take place, lives changed, uh, relationships healed, wounds uh, covered and, and healed, then I just can stand back and praise uh, because I've experienced the fullness of my God and my Savior, Jesus Christ. So have a good day today. Enjoy the scripture and your time and reflection on the questions. God bless.